That means I gotta pretend to be a lot of different people in the band. This dude, he's sly. Take that bullshit, turn it into good shit. And he got a twin in the band. This dude may take your, your girlfriend. Take that bullshit. Getting to watch you in the studio just like was reinvigorating for me as to like what music is supposed to be and can be. Cause you just get in there and play around and yeah, just, fuck around with different characters yes. and voices and Yeah, this is like, fun. It should be fun. Yeah. This is the girl in the band. Take that bullshit. Leon Russell. He mad. Take that bullshit. Alright, now we got Leon's cousin. He played the bass. Take hey, that bullshit. Take that! I need the, the, the character is missing. Play it one more time. Just... Where did where does all of that come from? Where does that energy come from with you? That's a good question. I don't know. Maybe uh, trying to remain sane in a world that's kind of nutty, and um, it's better than doing drugs uh -huh. and going into you know pharmaceutical stuff. He is like my drug. Yeah, when people when I show up and uh, people see my riders, they're disappointed. <laughs> really? Tea it's like tea and water, shit on fresh there, food, no kind of rock star are you here? If I just yeah. embrace kind of the quirkiness and the realness. So what was the process like after, like kind of, as you've named the place Blackball Universe here, this Black compound, ball. did you feel like you had been blackballed by the entertainment industry? Well, I don't think I felt like I was blackballed. I felt like that after you know spending five years on a major label that I wanted to exist creatively in another realm. So I had to kind of invent this place that was safe for artists. Getting to watch you and especially like since last days of Oakland and starting to get some attention from it after, of course, the Grammy, like... Grammys? Yeah. Now, it's, it's interesting because I'm looking at the track listing that you've got there, yeah. and there's some, like, far out <laughs> stuff. Are you trying to push the boundaries a little bit more from the first album? I mean, I think you are artists, I think we should always push the boundaries. That's kind of our job. Uh -huh. So I don't know, I just forget about the first album. Last Days of Oakland, I got no... Forget about the Grammy, all that stuff. I have really no interest in it. I'm just uh -huh. interested in being an artist. And I'm interested in uh, contributing something yeah. to, the, to the family of humanity. That's really what I'm interested in. And yeah. uh, I think that's what's kept uh, Fantastic Negrito right on track, is that, that being interested in that. Take the picture. Gotcha. Where do you see this album taking you along that course? <sighs> Boy, that's a good question. I see this album as just... Uh, I don't know, confrontational a little bit, because I think we need that. I think yeah. we've been confronted with evil and negativity yeah. and uh, even hopelessness the yeah. last couple of years. Yeah. And I think that some, I, I thought as an artist, I channeled in on that, okay, we got to confront this. Yeah. And my weapon is music, so. Um, do, you think that, uh, do you think that some of that energy is going to turn around some of the hopelessness? Because I look around and it's. It yeah, looks bleak sure. everywhere. You no, know? you got to believe in it, man. I believe mm. in this, man. That's why I do it. I believe in it. Of course. Yeah. Yes. Good. 100%. And it needs to be a music revolution. And um, I want all you people out here, all you artists, man, to contribute something very meaningful to what's happening right now in the world and in this country, man. Evil is trying to envelop us and enslave us. But I know through music and the arts and through film and through journalism, uh, we can uh, fight back. That's how I see the album. It's like it's yeah. different from the last album in the sense of like, hey man, okay, we're gonna confront this now and we have some weapons. I think with Last Days of Oakland, I was like, hey, this is what's going on. Uh -huh. I'm seeing this stuff happening and I don't know, I felt a little bit, this is a lot more guitar driven. This album's about riffs. Yeah. And I think there's something about the guitar riff it's, that's um, confrontational. Uh huh. And it's like, gather people together, we got it. Yeah, yeah. Come on, we got each other around. It's okay.
Okay, cool. Now, hey. what do you want? You know what? what do you want uh, the world to remember Fantastic Negrito as in like 20, 30 years? Like, where do you want to take this train, and what what legacy do you want to leave behind here? Well, I want. Uh, for me, it's just walking towards the light, man. Be real, tell the truth, uh, be a contributor, produce something that's valuable to people. That's what. That means a lot to me. When something, even inspiration. I get more out of people like telling, saying to me, wow, I'm so inspired by w what you did. And I'm like, that means a lot. Because that means you're a contributor. That means you're doing something that's useful, that's productive. And I think that's kind of why we're here. There's something about uh, being productive and creative that I think is the reason why we're here. I figured it out. <laughs> yeah. Get all the religions in. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're here because uh, we got to, you know, be productive, be useful. Yeah. Well, thank you for doing what you do and inspiring so many people and, and bringing a, a message and getting people, giving people the energy to kind of fight against some of the shit that's going on right now. Well, that's my job and I'm, I'm humbled and honored to do it. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you very much. Thank you, much. brother. Appreciate yeah. it. Thanks thank for coming you. to Black Ball Universe. Of course, of course. This All is right. the best, man.